What up guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm gonna go over five things you should think about and consider before you accept an order. Obviously, you're not gonna wanna just accept every single order because you get some pretty crappy orders sometimes. So these are some of the five things that you wanna think about. And I mean, not necessarily check them off the list before you accept it, but kinda program yourself to think about these certain things before you accept an order. The number one, Number one, huge. You gotta set a certain miles per dollar that you're gonna do. Like, I only do stuff that's $2 per mile. My Explorer doesn't exactly get the greatest miles per gallon, so I'm not really taking anything that's less than $2 a mile. For example, if it's a five mile delivery, it's gotta pay 10 bucks. Otherwise, I'm not gonna accept it. Now, sometimes I'll accept it if I know it's like to a, like, high-end restaurant or something and I'm probably gonna get a tip after I deliver it but other than that no just not gonna bother it so you gotta accept or you gotta make a standard of how much you're gonna deliver and just you gotta just set your standards you can't just accept everything uh, let's see the number two the second thing that you want to consider is is there a potential for a double order like are you potentially gonna get two orders with is the restaurant super far away and there's only one restaurant by itself because then you're pretty much guaranteeing you're not going to get a double order. Now a double order is like it can be good or it can be bad. A lot of times I'll get double orders and they'll be like an extra 10 bucks so you're just pretty much doubling your money. They can be really really good um, and again sometimes they can be like a nuisance if one order is ready right then and there and then the second one's not ready for 15 or 20 minutes you're gonna be annoyed, the customer's gonna be annoyed, and someone's gotta to wait too long for their food and you're gonna end up with a bad rating. Uh, let's see, number three, does it go to an apartment or a hotel? Because if it goes to an apartment complex, you gotta accept that you're gonna spend an extra few minutes looking for the apartment number, then you gotta walk a little further, you gotta make it there, and then you gotta walk all the way back to your car. It's just a nuisance compared to if it's a residential, all you do is park, walk 20 feet to the door, drop it off, walk back to your car. Makes everything a lot simpler rather than if you have to actually get there, maybe look at the map and like, whenever I get to an apartment complex, you always gotta look for the map because then you have an idea. Otherwise, you're just looking around for like apartment numbers. It's just kind of a nuisance. Uh, number four, does it stay in your dashing area? So this is for like DoorDash. If you have, like most cities have a certain area where you're dashing, and if the order goes out of that area, you have to drive all the way back to your dashing area before you can get another order. You gotta pretty much consider if you got, if it's a five dollar or a five mile delivery, you gotta drive five miles back to that area. It's gonna take more time, you're gonna spend more gas, kind of a waste of time. So if you can stay in that general area, especially if you can stay where there's other like if it's dropping off to the customer near other restaurants you're going to be a lot better off than if you have to drive way out into the mountains or something and then come back uh number five the last one is it a quick store like is it going to be like sometimes for example because sometimes i go to mcdonald's and the line is so long so you got to consider like what time is it right now is this place going to be super packed uh, Cheesecake Factory is the absolute worst. They take so long and they never, ever, ever have their orders on time. They were pretty good during the quarantine and pandemic whole thing, but now that that's over, uh, yeah, I'm not going back to Cheesecake Factory or any of those other places. You just gotta consider like how quick are these restaurants. And if you've had bad experiences there, like there's a few restaurants I just will not go to because most of the time I go, they it's just a bad time. So. Again, that's something you gotta learn with experience and not everyone's gonna be able to do that right off the bat. You kinda gotta learn on the job. Um, yeah, but thank you guys again for watching. Subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't. Give me that thumbs up notification and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.